Hey everyone, this is Catherine from Flywheel, and today I'm going to walk you through how to activate your customer data from your data warehouse to Facebook ads in under five minutes. So the first step is going to be connecting your data warehouse to Flywheel. So if I scroll over here to data sets, you'll see that I've already connected my Snowflake instance, and that was a very straightforward process and just required a one-time entry of my Snowflake credentials, and I could then access any table inside my organization's data warehouse. And if you don't have Snowflake and you have BigQuery, the process is really similar. So once you've connected to Snowflake, as I said, you're able to access any table inside that entire warehouse. So if we go ahead and dig into this users table I've set up, you'll notice that it gave me the option to select from this massive range of data sets and any table within that data set. And what you're seeing here is uh, going to drive real speed to value. The reason is that we're not actually ingesting any of your customer data. We're just a layer that sits on top of your data warehouse and allows you to segment audiences within that existing architecture. So where traditional marketing technology might take you six months to set up, we can be up and running and driving value for your business within a week. So once you've got your data warehouse set up, you can go ahead and navigate back to the central audience hub. And this is the second big unlock from Flywheel, uh, which is gonna be central audience management. So instead of having your marketers and your sales folks creating audiences and silos, you're able to centralize all of that to make your organization more collaborative in its customer targeting and intelligence building. So here you can see all of the audiences that my entire organization has created, as well as how many of those are actively uh, exporting to a destination platform. But for today, we're gonna go ahead and create our own new audience. So we'll start with a basic template. And you'll notice here that the audience builder is very visual and very intuitive. So that enables us to have outsized impact for your organization relative to other data tools because we're equally accessible for a non-technical marketer and a very technical analyst. So we can be utilized to drive value by pretty much any persona in your entire commercial organization. So for today, let's go ahead and make a sample audience of churned customers who live in the state of New York. Once you create this audience, your first option is to exclude any existing audiences that you think might have a lot of overlap, so you're not targeting the same customers repeatedly. So in this case, I think that New York high spenders might have a bit of overlap, so I'll go ahead and exclude all of those customers from this audience. I then have the option of segmenting this audience across any criteria in my entire data warehouse. So I know that I want my state to equal New York. And since I want churned customers, let's say that their last purchase date had to be before this date. And what you'll notice on this right hand panel is that my audience is uh, resizing in real time. So you can see exactly how many customers fall within these criteria, as well as how much revenue they've driven for my organization in the past. So you're getting real-time insight into whether or not that campaign you'd envisioned for this audience uh, is really worth your time and energy to run. Then below, you can see you also have a treatment and control split option, and this is completely variable. So Flywheel will only send the customers that fall within your treatment group to the destination platform, and it will hold back everyone in the control group. You can then use Flywheel's campaign evaluation feature to measure whether or not that treatment group is actually driving incremental revenue for your organization. So whether or not your campaign was actually effective. Then below this treatment and control split, you also have the option to get more insight into your audience through a breakdown. So let's say I want to see how my audience is distributed geographically across New York. I can break down by city and I'm gonna get more insight again into that geographic distribution. So it's just enabling me to be more strategic and more purposeful and knowledgeable in who I'm actually targeting. So once you're pretty happy with your audience, you can navigate back to the audience hub, select that audience, and then export it to your Facebook destination. So I'll go ahead and click start export. I'll wait for that to run export created. Then I'll go ahead and check on my Facebook ads account. And when I refresh my audiences, you'll see that New York churned customers has been added. And that audience is going to be updated live as new customers begin to meet that churned customers criteria, or as they no longer meet it, they'll be removed from the audience. So it really is that simple to set up a live feed of your customer data uh, to Facebook ads.